Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugley channel. I'm your host, as per usual, Brugley. And in this video, I'll be talking about a backrooms level called the Green Mist. This is a very secretive level in the backrooms, and not many people know about it. And on top of that, its description is pretty unsettling, to be honest. So let's get into that unsettling description, shall we? Also, I'm trying to get to 500k subs on here, so if you want to help, drop a sub, please. So the backrooms level called the Green Mist is classified as a class undetermined due to it having really mysterious properties and really mysterious entities, as well as having unknown information. It's just one of those levels where not much is known. Now the physical level itself looks like a huge suspension style bridge that has a light green fog mist around it. And this fog is always floating above, to the side, below, the fog is everywhere. On this bridge, there are a Occasionally a few cars or trucks, but it's so rare that like no one even knows for sure if they're there It's just that rare, but that is literally it for objects. Just a few parked cars The main theory about the size of this level is that it's infinite since an end or a beginning has never been seen But it's kind of hard to see how far you've been going or measure how far you want to go because of the fog in the way However, one thing that has been discovered after walking for days on this bridge is that at some point, the actual bridge becomes part of the fog. Like they blend together completely to where there's no ground under you, you're just walking on fog. <laughs> so yeah, some pretty big parts of the bridge don't have a floor, but you can still walk on it, like an invisible pathway. Over the horizon and through the fog, you can kind of sort of see some kind of landscape, but no matter how far you walk or how far you think you're walking, you never get any closer and you never get any further away from this blurred mass. So it's unknown what it is or what it's there for, or if it does anything at all. Now underneath the bridge is a huge body of water. You can hardly see it because of the fog, but sometimes it'll clear and you can look down. But even when there is fog, you can hear its waves and feel its rumble. Above the bridge, you can't see anything at all. No moon, no sun, no stars, nothing. The fog is just too thick. However, there probably isn't even a sun or a day-night cycle because the level always feels the exact same temperature. Pretty chilly, actually. It's around 12 degrees Celsius or 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if those things I just talked about weren't unusual or weird enough, I'm going to get into some more strange properties about this level. The first being the fact that you cannot noclip inside of this level at all. Like, the entire process of noclipping doesn't work, which is really weird because in almost every other backrooms level, the ability to noclip is what keeps you alive. Another weird property is that some people have looked over to the left or to the right of the bridge and have just barely seen the exact copy of the bridge that you're on. And some people have seen copies to the left and to the right at the same time. And when you look at these other bridges for a few seconds, you'll start to feel a really weird sensation down your spine. Kind of like something is touching you, you'll get goosebumps, and you'll kind of just jump, and you'll turn around to see what's there, but nothing will be there, and when you turn around back to see the bridge copy, it'll be gone. No more bridge copies around. Nice. It's even been said that loud screams have been heard from just outside the view distance in the fog. But it's not just human screams, there have also been reports of some kind of roar in the mist. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that one. And sometimes the fog underneath the bridge does clear up, and you can look down at the water. And when this happens, a very strange entity can be seen floating in it. The entity is sort of a disfigured humanoid entity that kind of looks like a fish person. Not necessarily a mermaid, but a fish person. Most of the sightings of these entities have described them having feminine looking features like long hair, and sometimes even wearing jewelry. And they behave kind of like sirens from pirate lore, because they try to sing and lure you to jump off the bridge into the water with them. And some people have even been seen falling for this and jumping into the water, and they fade away as soon as they hit the water, and no one knows what happens to them. And these fish people are the only entities that have been confirmed to live on this level. However, some people consider the fog itself to be an entity because it might have something to do with hallucinations or going crazy and whatnot. Now, to enter this level, you have to be pretty unlucky, or lucky, I guess, but you have to get into an empty car at the hub level, and then if you do that, you'll wake up here, alone. 
Now the only way to leave is to hopefully find one of the cars that's parked on the bridge and then get into it and you might have to wait for days, literal days, because no one knows how long it actually is, but it takes forever. But after waiting for a long time, it'll send you out of the level to one of the first nine levels. But like I said earlier, no clipping doesn't work here, so you have to find a car to leave. How fun. So to briefly summarize this level, the Green Mist is a seemingly infinite bridge that is surrounded in a green misty fog from above to the side and below. And this bridge sits in a huge body of water. Very rarely you'll be able to see a parked car on it, and even more rarely you'll be able to look over to your left or right and see an exact copy of the bridge that you're on. Sometimes the mist clears and you can see below into the water where there are siren fish people trying to lure you there to your demise. Sounds like a great time, doesn't it? That's it for the video. Thank you for watching until the end. I really appreciate you. As always, love you all. I appreciate you so much. I can't say that enough. Make sure to go below and check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly. I am trying to get Toogly to 50k by the end of the year, so if you want to help out, drop a sub. I upload five times a week on there. Comment below what levels you want me to go over, and also let me know what you think of this idea. I've been thinking that for the week leading up to Halloween, I'll do full standalone Entity Explained videos, like one video will be all about the Brugly Entity lore, one video will be all about the Keymaster lore, and so on like that. I know a ton of you have always loved the Entity videos, and they are my most popular videos on the channel, so I thought for Halloween it would be kind of cool to do like a, a week of creepy entities, you know, and just give you full Entity Explain videos to listen to. I also am planning on writing another Backrooms level like I did last year for Halloween Day, and if you want to check that one out before this year, go check it out. It's level 1031 on this channel. It's a great video, and that was my first level I ever wrote, so I decided to make a tradition of writing a level for each Halloween, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. Pretty much, I'll give full videos to the creepiest and most cryptic Backrooms entities as sort of a Halloween special, so what do you guys think about that? If you like that, let me know. Also, let me know down in the comments what levels you want me to go over which ones you're interested in which ones you want me to add to the schedule which ones you want to see the old brewster go over and if i don't see your level and if i don't heart it then go ahead and keep on commenting it until i see it because i get literally so many comments which i'm, I'm so grateful for but i can't see everybody's comment every time so just keep commenting it until i see it and i'll eventually do it thank you for watching supporting me and i'll see you later